Hey guys, what's up? And thank you for joining me for this video. If you are new and this is your first time hanging out with us, your first time on my channel, your first time witnessing this Tyler with the No Goodness, and you have not yet subscribed, welcome. If you're one of my peeps and you are already subscribed, then welcome back and thank you for joining me for another video. So let me tell you how this video came about. So back on a prior video when I asked for submissions of questions for me to do in a Q&A video, I got submitted a really good question and it was to give advice on how to get over a bad breakup. And I felt like I just had so much that I could say in response to that to where I would have to make a whole dedicated video about it because I didn't want to take up all of that time on one question when I had other questions to answer. Anyways, so here we are. And I don't really know where to start, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. I mean, why not? So obviously, people break up for like a plethora of reasons. Nonetheless, breakups can be really emotional, and if you've experienced one yourself, then you know this, and I'm preaching to the choir. What I want to share with you today is in a situation where it's a difficult breakup, or there are feelings are involved, or it's, you know, been years, or whatever the case might be, these are just ways that I've used um, and I've learned and I found that have worked for me in terms of getting over a bad breakup. So one advice that I would give to you about getting over a bad breakup, regardless of what the reason was, but especially if it's an instance where they were unfaithful or they cheated on you, they broke up with you, like if you were dumped, that's a real blow to the ego. I don't care who you are, I don't care how confident or cocky that you think that you want to be, that's a blow to your ego and if you don't think it immediately, you're going to think it some down, sometime down the line and wonder why this happened. Um, why did they break up? Why are they with this person? What did they have that I didn't? Like, they're, they're just, those are just common thoughts and you're not wrong for feeling that way. But what I would want to say is, and I know it's easier said than done, but just my number one advice is don't take it as something is wrong, something being wrong with you. Regardless of what the reason is behind your breakup, it's always better to try to look at it as, you know, it's their loss. Because you know yourself. You know if you're a good person or not. You know what you have to bring to the table. You know the potential for a good relationship, whether you've shown it in this relationship or not. You know what the next person is going to be presented with, especially after a situation where you just broke up and you have time to learn from any mistakes or to correct behavior or to look for better in a partner, then it's just going to make for a better relationships so it's better to think of it as okay well they're missing out it's their loss you know they wanted to go and cheat they really missed out or yeah I messed up and they weren't tolerant enough to forgive me and move forward and work past it then they're missing out and that may not be the person for me I need somebody with a little bit more patience I guess the bigger picture in this response would be to just know who you are if you break up and you start questioning yourself or looking, thinking bad about yourself, that's a perfect opportunity for you to take that time of being single to get to know yourself, to learn yourself, to love yourself. This is kind of gonna roll into number two of my advice of dealing with a bad breakup, and that's honestly just try to better yourself after a breakup. And this goes for any like mental, emotional, and physical. One thing that I can say you know that I've just went through a breakup or something emotional in my life if I'm in the gym and I'm hitting the gym really hard and consistently. I mean, it, sound, it sounds kind of stupid, but in a way, that's like something that helps me cope because I feel better about myself when I know that I'm doing better for myself. And I mean, the gym is just a small way, but also like getting refocused on your hobby or your craft or just, you know, enroll for a whole bunch of classes. Um, you know, do things that are going to better yourself and make you feel better about yourself and know that you are a better package that this person left. Like, you know, going back to the whole like, this is their loss. You know, since we've broken up, I've become this, this, and this. And it's no better feeling than to be able, you know, throw it in their face. And this is another thing that I'll say. I'm not the type of person, if we break up, I'm not blocking you on nothing. You're going to see me on my Instagram. You can stay on my Snapchat. Oh, that's fine. We don't have to communicate. I'm not looking at any of your pictures. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to follow you on said social media. However, I'm not going to deny you the access to follow me. By all means, please follow me and see how much better that I'm going to do without you. That's the worst thing that somebody can do. If you want me back, then you better not give me the opportunity to become selfish. 
Okay, because once we break up and you're no longer one of my concerns and I only have me to take care of, to think about, to be concerned with, oh honey, it's over for you. It's over because whether it be the gym, whether it be school, whether it be the job, once I start, I'm going to start making more money. I'm going to be going hard at school and getting this education together. I'm going to be going hard with my YouTube videos, bitch, and building and, re and making more friends. I'm going to be in the gym getting this body together, you know, I'm about to step my game up and sex my frame up like Trina say. <laughs> Thumbs up if you know where that quote came from. If you if you know the baddest. But yeah, so after a breakup, it's great to become selfish and to become self-centered and to become self-motivated and just worry about self. Because in a relationship, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but you become very selfless. You're thinking as a unit. You're caring for the unit. You're trying to build and develop and grow this unit, this partnership that you have. And so when you break up, there's no better feeling than to not have to worry about any of that. I know like you see the memes on Instagram or whatever and they're like, you know, oh, how I sleep at night knowing that I'm single and nobody out there cheating on me. But like, real shit, it's such a relief to have that weight off your shoulders. Not necessarily saying that you're worried that somebody's cheating on you, but just to Go to sleep at night and know that you don't got to answer to nobody. You can wake up, you can, you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you feel me knocking? Then let me in. So, with that being said, this kind of leads me into number three, or is this four? I think this is going to be three, because the other two were kind of like together. The other two were like more on the concept side, like they sound good in theory, but this is actual, actually a practical step that you can take, and that's just distraction. And I don't know if everybody's going to necessarily agree with this, but distract yourself. Get busy. You need to be booked and busy after a breakup, and I'm telling you, you will, you, you'll see that it works. Working overtime at work. Um, going taking enrolling more classes in school getting a hobby doing going to the gym like you know just fill up your schedule with things to where you don't have the time to sit and reminisce and to think back and to do all your what ifs and to text them back or to stalk their social media just keep yourself busy and i promise you that's the best way that i've learned at least to move on and to let the feelings fade when you break up with somebody and we probably all know this but feelings don't just end just like that and that's why it's a bad breakup is because there are still emotions that are very much involved and so the best way that i found to let the emotions start to kind of fade away is to just like keep my mind off of it the more you think about it the more you're gonna be consumed with the breakup consume yourself with productive things i mean it don't even gotta be productive and this is gonna kind of lead me into my next my next little uh, segment, this is going to be 3.8. I know this is probably where I'm going to lose a lot of you, and that's okay, but I'm just keeping it real. So I know you guys have heard of, like, the rebound. Okay, now hear me out. A rebound isn't necessarily a bad idea. Hold on. May I help you? What you doing, Narc? Narc? Uh, I'm recording a video. Oh, okay. Text me when you're done. So I definitely feel like in the in the mode of like keeping yourself busy and distracting yourself, a great way and a great distraction, a great way to get your mind off of that one person is to put your mind on someone else. And I know this is contradictory to what I just said about like focusing on yourself, but you can still do both. You can still have a rebound and be self-focused at the same time. And this is where I feel like I'm gonna lose some of you guys and you might disagree. So I'm not saying that like to go and sleep with the next person or to hurry, go ahead and end this relationship and hop into another relationship. I'm not saying that whatsoever. I'm saying talk to people, make friends. Even if you already have friends, use those friends as the rebound. Start hanging out with them. You know, hit them up all the time. Hey, do you want to go out to eat? Do you want to come over? Like, I just, just don't be alone. Being alone is so detrimental and is so hazardous to the mind after a bad breakup. If you can't keep yourself busy, then keep yourself entertained. That's why I'm saying you can do both. You can be selfish and still involve yourself with another person because you're having that other person around for entertainment and as bad as that may sound it's the truth you just want somebody so you're not bored you want somebody so you're not alone essentially yeah you are kind of using that person for entertainment but it's not like they're not getting something out of it at the same time that person is also enjoying your company you're not saying hey come on 
entertain me, I'm bored. Like, no, you're developing a friendship if you're not already friends with this person. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. It would be a, a bonus if it's somebody that you're attracted to. And who knows, you can definitely develop feelings for that person. In no way, shape, or form am I advising you to go and like sleep with another person to get your mind off it. Like, it don't even have to be all that. I'm just saying a great distraction is another human being because learning someone else, socializing with somebody else, talking to somebody else, laughing with somebody else, eating with somebody else, vacationing with somebody like there it's such a great way to get your mind off of another person if you want to sleep with somebody else I mean hey that's your prerogative that ain't none of my business you were ready to go and sulk in your misery and be alone when you could have potentially been happy with a friend again I'm not saying that you have to get out of one relationship and jump into another one but it doesn't hurt to have company and that's just, that's the bottom line. So yeah, just kind of like a recap. So number one, as far as the mind is concerned, you just need to understand and need to believe that it's their loss and that your life goes on and that there is gonna potentially be somebody else who may love you or understand you or is worthy of everything that you have to give. Or you might find that you're just happy you're single and you might have just dodged a bullet, you know? Advice number two, keep yourself booked and busy, girl. Like, invest in yourself. There is nothing more rewarding, especially after a breakup, than bettering yourself and being busy at it. Let that be your escape from this breakup. Whether it be the gym, whether it be learning a talent or a hobby, bitch, learn to cook, okay? Read some recipes, start a business, you work OT at work, sign up for some classes. Like, just do things that'll keep your mind occupied, but also things that are going to make you better because that step two is going to help with step one and letting yourself know that it is their loss because after this breakup I have went over here and I learned to cook I am making a buku money okay this body is getting snatched I done stepped my game up and sex my frame up and now you missing out so you, you see what I'm saying and then number three if you can't keep yourself busy then at least keep yourself entertained and that could be with another person it could be with with friends that you already have or make new friends now I'm gonna keep it real the problem with the whole rebound thing and entertaining yourself with another person is especially if it's right after a bad breakup you're in a state where you were so used to being happy with someone else that person was your source of entertainment that person was your source of happiness and you may have lost what it is to be happy with just yourself because at the end of the day, you need to be okay with being alone because you don't know when your next relationship is going to come. I don't advise finding a rebound until you've become happy with being alone. Once you're happy with being by yourself, once you have fully recognized what you bring to the table and there's no self-loathing, there's no depression, there's no sadness, there's no moping because you are now alone, you can find a way to entertain yourself. You know that you have a talent or you have a, a hobby or something that's just really gonna make you one with yourself and you can really appreciate that me time. Once you're content with yourself, and okay with the idea of being alone and you just quite frankly get bored not because you need it but just because you're bored then I would advise moving on to a rebound so I did just want to add in that little caveat there I don't advise you know finding a rebound because you can't deal with being alone that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying is find a rebound or entertain yourself with somebody else just to keep your mind off of the old person. I don't know, I hope I did this question justice. Again, if I had like a specific scenario or if you have a specific scenario that you want to give me that I can answer, then I feel like I can really like pound it in on that specific, you know, breakup or specific circumstance. But this is just kind of like general advice that has worked for me in past experiences on getting over a bad breakup. I really appreciate this question being asked, so thank you for that and definitely ask more questions either in this video or in any other video you can always slide in my dms or comment on one of my posts on instagram instagram is tyler with an o and that's all one word but yeah i hope you guys found this video informative or entertaining or both definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like what you see comment down below and more importantly go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of this tyler with an o goodness and i will catch you all on my next video peace Little China girl. Oh, 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 little China girl.
China Hong Kong. A little China.